going through my manual layout, I went ahead and measured out all my dimensions. Got the first hole right here, which is for your coolant lines, low pressure line, fill line, and your uh, low rear harness line. You got your first bolt, second bolt, third, and fourth. These are all the mounting bolts. And of course, you're gonna put the longer bolts that I with that we have in the kit in the OEM spots. So those are two bolts in the front. So now we'll pre-drill. And now I wanna vacuum up all the shavings. For the next part of this conversion, I'm going to pre-drill my fuel fill hole. Uh, since this is a 5.5 bed truck, you can see here, 2015 to 2017, 5.0, and this is gonna be the fuel fill installation side mount, 5.5 short bed. So this is measured, let's see, there was modification made, five inches from here to here, and 16 inches down. That's exactly what we'll do. So once again, We'll get our tools that we need right here. And then uh, once again, I have my drilling drills with me, my bend that I need, and my drills. All right, let's do this. We have our measurement, and now we will do the pilot hole. Carefully, and start drilling. We'll go on the first gear. This size right here for the fuel fill, we need to use a hole saw, which is a special size. It's two and nine sixteenths, not two and a half, because your fuel fill neck or your fuel fill cap right here, it won't fit over two and a half. It has to be two and nine sixteenths. Let's do this. Same thing, you wanna hold a lock double here. You wanna lock it in 90 degrees, hold it tight, hold your Left hand or over here, if you're right-handed, do the opposite to your left. Pre-drill the rest of the holes, and I have a special ring that I use as a template. And clamps. So what I'm going to do is insert this in here, make sure there's a level here, precisely, put this inside here, and we're going to clamp it. Yes. All right, we're going to drill. On these holes, you can go up as high as a quarter of an inch of a drill bit. Got it. Now we will do exactly what we did with the holes in the back of the bed, or the back of the truck. We're going to touch them up. I'm gonna mark the holes where I'm gonna drill. This is where the first uh, hole is gonna be, right here. And go down to the second hole. We're gonna drill a uh, 2564, I believe the hole is. Gotta confirm that though. Third. And the fourth will be all the way over here. Alright, so they're all marked. Remember guys, always use safety glasses. So this is the most this is the part where a shaving can fall into your eye. So make sure you got your safety glasses on. I'm gonna drill the pilot holes. And four. 
564s. And this is going to be the final size we'll be using to put our rivets in. This is where the rivets are going to go. All right. Uh, make sure to wear a long sleeve because the shavings are super hot when they fall in your arm and they'll burn you. Once again, okay, what if they fall in your long sleeve? Well, now this is where the spray paint comes in the handy. Make sure to mix it up. All right, here we go. Let's touch up these little spots here. Oops. Make sure you get it in the right place. Excellent. All right. Well, just let it dry for a minute while we go underneath the hood and drill three more holes for the rivets. Top side creeper. If you don't have one, get one. Amazing. Make sure you have some kind of protection here. Don't scratch the cord. We're going to use this to put on top of our engine intake manifold to protect the shavings from falling in to the engine compartment. So we're about to drill three holes right here. For what, you're wondering? And I will tell you for what. For the AFCON bracket. So we will drill these three holes, put the rivets inside, and that's what we use to tighten our bolt, or to place our bolts into, to tighten this bracket. Make sure you have your light set up, because without light, you don't know what you're doing. And even before, you start drilling, it will be a wise decision to mark your holes. Firewall. Okay, so this will go right in the center of the Cintiq manifold. So basically, we would come measure this part and this part of the bracket towards the, you can see the fuel rails right here. And it goes all the way up, high as you can push. So I'm gonna mark it. All right, now we're gonna pre-drill the pilot holes. One. Two. And three. And notice, notice our shavings all fell into our little, what? Into our little plastic protection, little wrapping. That way they're not going inside the intake manifold gaps or between the injectors, you want to protect that area. Because once you take the fuel rail off, the shavings, man, it could fall right in there. And then that's a different story. So let's go ahead and drill the hole we need now. The hole is 2564, I believe, but however, I could be wrong on that one because this is a weird size. What is it for? I just want to go ahead and throw that out there. It's for this. This was going to go inside. This is the rivet's going to go inside. And we'll be using that shortly. Show how that we're gonna install those. All right, final drill. And also, we'll have to touch up those holes with paint. So, what I'll do is move down a little bit, like this, and one, two, and three. And then, if I accidentally touch anything, remember, oh, you should come to it now. There we go. Oops. And look at this, look at this. You see that? That's what it's there for, protection. Look at this. 
nicely slowly wow that is nice i like it all right we're gonna do one more hole uh which is gonna be for our switch and uh fuel gauge harness which i have right over here so we're gonna drill a uh, 7 8 hole through the firewall and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna prepare uh, drill usually to the inside so i'm gonna set up my lighting tools and drills that i need for the certain install so i have my tools everything that i need in my bands i have nicely set up here this is my main tool i'll be working with right now we're gonna go down here so we're gonna go over where the uh, harness running from the fire wall firewall through this insulator right here we're gonna go over about an inch up right here inch again over here and we're gonna cut out this insulation about like 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 this let me draw it out we're gonna cut this out like this and what I use is I'll use my razor blade my little box open knife but however you got to make sure you got a new blade in because it's very really hard to cut with a used blade so this is with a used blade see I'm having a hard time doing this so what I'm going to do I'm going to replace this one second so now I installed the new blade in here and let's watch how it cuts wow much easier look at this goes right through because this is very a hard part to get, I mean, it's not a very comfortable spot to work at. Even with a new blade, it's still sometimes a little difficult. But see, nicely cut out. So we got a nice clearance here, as you can see. All right, now let's drill the pilot hole. And I'm gonna do it right in the center, which is right here, where my cutout, center of my cutout. Great. Now seven eighths. This is my garment 7 8. Low speed. And let's go. And here's the hole right here. What we're gonna do, touch it up with paint. Viewers, subscribe to my channel to see more of awesomeness. <laughs> you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter.